Welcome. My name is Craig Tavener and I'd like to demonstrate a new feature that we've added to Elasticsearch 8.7.0 and that is the ability to do hexagonal aggregations over geoshapes, which is what is demonstrated in the bottom right view in this dashboard. And uh, the reason I'm showing you four maps here, here is I would like to compare and contrast four different features, starting with the top left, which is a rectangular or geotile aggregation over points. And as you can see, each rectangle aggregates how many points are included in there. If I zoom in enough, I will have only one point per rectangle. What was added early last year, about a year ago, we added support for hexagonal aggregations, and we could aggregate over points as well. However, we were not able to aggregate over shapes, except for the tile aggregation. So tile aggregations can do shapes, as you can see on the bottom left. That's been there for a while. The uh, new feature is the ability to aggregate shapes using hexagons. So let's just look at the shapes for a second. If I take away this, you'll see that here we have some kind of area, and uh, so that's a polygon as well as lines. We have various different types of shapes. And when we um, aggregate over that, we have cells that count how many shapes intersect with those cells. So you can see uh, there's two lines in these cells and two lines in these cells. And here we have the edge of the polygon and the lines, or, and the lines are streets and the polygon is a, probably a residential area or some area classification. So what's particularly nice about this feature is that despite the fact that hexagons are substantially more complex than rectangles, as you can see, the performance between the uh, geotile and geohex is very comparable, which is fantastic. So I hope you enjoy this feature.